Hey guys, Hector here. I'm doing another outside video. It's really freaking hot. I'm already sweating a little bit. But I've done a lot of, you know, opinion blogs lately. So I wanted to talk about a more uh, American-related topic that's not just opinion. And I want to talk about the metric system. A lot of people around the world are usually say, oh, the U United States doesn't follow the metric system, but everywhere else in the world follows the metric system and all that stuff. So what's going on? And that actually is pretty true. A lot of times there's a lot of stereotypes about the US that are not true, but when it comes to the metric system, that is completely true. We still use the whole English system. We use inches and feet, and then we use miles and stuff like that instead of centimeters, meters, kilometers, and all that good stuff. And they don't, te they don't usually teach us the metric system in school unless it's science class. Science teachers try really, really hard to try and teach kids the metric system but no other classes want to do that so it just doesn't get imprinted in kids' head. And even our rulers, we still get rulers, our, the schools tell us we need to buy rulers and that's one foot, 12 inches and a little over 30 centimeters. See, I, didn't, I can't make the conversion straight in my head like that. But I, I started wondering, like, do other countries make kids get rulers or is it you know, only 30 centimeter rulers in the other countries and not a foot. You know, just stuff that I wonder. But let's say that we do teach kids just the metric system and kind of abandon the whole English system, the inches and the miles and all that stuff. The miles thing is really important because every sign around our country is miles. Speed limit, 55 miles per hour, and however long from one city to the next, it's however many miles. They start to do kilometers on the distance to the next city, but all the speed limits are all miles. So they would have to spend a ton of money to change all those signs over from the old English system to the metric system. And our cars do have both the metric system and the English system on there, but the miles are usually the bigger numbers on top, and the metric system, the kilometers are usually on bottom. And I guess that's about it that I kind of wanted to talk about the metric system. I would definitely support teaching kids more about it in other classes and stuff. But of course, I've been out of regular school for about 10 years. Just been taking college classes on and off for the past 10 years. And yeah. So I guess that's it. Like this video if you liked it or if you appreciated me talking about this kind of stuff. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more American-related videos like this. Maybe just opinion vlogs or whatnot. Just, you know, stuck by my opinion. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it. See you guys later.